In chapel today, we want to talk about what God can do in your life. And as a testimony, I want to tell you what God has done in my life and in the life of my family. In Mark chapter 16, Jesus told his disciples that they were to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In verse 19 and verse 20, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he, had he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. When I came to Moldova in 1993 with my wife Stephanie and our four daughters, we had no idea what God was beginning to do through our family. I, my purpose, our purpose, was to preach the gospel to the lost, make disciples and start churches. And by the way, that's still our purpose as missionaries. From the beginning, God blessed our work. We preached the gospel in a hard place. Many of you know the city of Tiraspa where the revolution was. That's where we began our ministry. It was a city of over 200,000 people and not a single missionary would work there. They were afraid of the communism. They were afraid of the mafia. They were afraid of the problems. In that first year, we had many people saved. In our first baptism, many, many people were baptized. And we started a wonderful church. That ministry was spread to the local villages and other churches were started. After we had established the Church of Tarospo, we began to run youth camps as a tool to reach young people uh, with the gospel and to make disciples. God led us in those early days to buy a youth camp in Moldova in order that we might do the same thing for many others. And not only have we been able to buy a youth camp and run a youth camp, the miracle here is not just thousands have been saved, but tens of thousands have come to the Lord because of this camp. Many of you were saved in this camp. Many of you, your lives were changed in this camp. Not only have young people been saved in the camp, but many have been called into Christian service. Hardly do I go anywhere in Moldova where I don't meet pastors and youth pastors and deacons and youth directors who are telling me that their life was changed here in this youth camp. God has done a, a miracle here. He has done a wondrous work here in changing the lives of people. From the first day I walked onto this property, though, I knew we would not just run a youth camp here. I knew that God wanted us to have a Bible school here. Paul told Timothy to take faithful men and, and to teach them and to train them. And I, I, we're doing that here through you. Many of you who were saved here, many of you whose life were changed here. It's not only amazing that we're able to teach Bible, but we have four trades that we're doing. We're teaching auto mechanics, we're teaching construction, we have a cooking school, we have a computer lab over here where we're teaching computers, not only how to program, but how to repair computers. Your study of the Bible will prepare you for a lifetime of ministry, but your trade classes will allow you to support yourself while doing ministry. God has done a wonderful work in Moldova, but that's not the end of the story. Let me tell you what God has been doing, not just in Moldova, but in another place, in Malawi. Thirteen years ago, a Romanian missionary friend of mine and myself got a burden to go to Africa to preach the gospel and to open a mission station for Eastern Europeans to do missionary work. Through the course of that missionary work there in Malawi, Africa. We have seen God do great and mighty things, not only through Eastern Europeans, but especially through Africans, through Malawians. We've seen African men with no more than a third grade education take the gospel and advance it from village to village, winning the lost and starting new churches. We have spread from three churches five years ago to 91 churches as of April, 2012. These men in Malawi are on fire for God and are looking for new opportunities every day to tell others about Jesus Christ. This is without question a true revival, uh, similar to the days of the book of Acts. And they have taken that message everywhere across the southern region of Malawi. Today I've spoken about the lessons of what God has done through your Asian Baptist mission over the last 20 years, both here in Moldova and in Malawi. 
Many times through the course of my ministry, I've heard that it was impossible to do what we've done. I believe you'll hear the same thing. How can we do it? But the Bible tells us over in Acts chapter 1-8 that we shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon us. And he says, Ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. For the gospel is the power of God into salvation to all those who believe. So young people, I urge you today, in this chapel hour, go. Go without shame and the power of the Spirit of the living God and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go. We've well, just watched a couple of clips from our uh, April chapel service and in those clips I described to the students how God blessed our ministry here in Moldova. What you're seeing in the camp and the school has not been supported by monthly support but by special gifts which really for a single missionary makes it a miracle from God that we could be able to do all of this. And we've not just seen a few thousand young people saved here but we've seen over 20,000 saved here and thousands on thousands of lives changed. The ministry of the school, the ministry of the camp, and even the African Orphan Project is a ministry that needs your support because it's supported by individual churches and individual gifts apart from our monthly support. But most important to us is your prayers. Pray for our ministry, pray for God's power in our ministry, and for the supply of the Lord. Check out our website, see what we're doing, and God bless you in everything that you do.